Welcome back to Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff, and in this video, we're going to be discussing the saccadic eye movement test, or sometimes just called the test for saccades. This is a special test within the oculomotor exam that is specific for a central vestibular deficit. Let's get into it right now. So, to assess for normal saccadic eye movement or normal saccades, the patient will be positioned and sitting, as you see over here in the clip, and the patient is instructed to rapidly dart their eyes between the PT's nose and a small target such as the tip of a pen, which I'm going to be using here in the video clip. You see that right there. And the key is without moving their head, so only the eyes are moving. And this is done for up to 10 repetitions in all four of the cardinal directions, up, down, left, and right. Now just to be clear, we are not assessing for smooth pursuit here. Recall that smooth pursuit is when the eyes move cleanly or smoothly as they follow a target. And we assess that in the smooth pursuit test. If you want more information on that, you can find that video on my channel and most likely in this playlist as well. What we're assessing for here are saccades or saccadic eye movements. And what those are is rapid movement of the eyes from one target to the other. So rather than being a smooth movement like this, Instead, the eyes rapidly move from one target to the next. And in this special test, the targets are my nose and the tip of the pen. And we're going to assess that rapid movement in all four directions. And in general, we do this, as I said, for up to 10 repetitions in each of these directions. Now, realistically, when I did this and when I trained for it, they did not actually do 10 repetitions in each direction. That's what the textbook says to do. Usually we do about two to four, somewhere in there, at least to get an idea to know if this is normal or not. Let's take a look at the test right now. So you can't hear the audio here, but basically I'm just saying nose, pen, nose, pen. And there's a lot of different ways you can cue that. But notice her eyes, just quick saccades from the pen to the nose and back. And we're doing the up direction there. And note that it does not matter in which order you do these four directions. It does not matter. I usually choose to do the horizontal ones first and then the vertical ones last. But you're assessing for normal saccadic eye movement. Now, what is normal saccadic eye movement? Well, that's when you either require no corrective saccades to get to the target or one corrective saccade. One is still considered normal. So for example, let's suppose the mouse right here, you can see that, that is her eyes and the play button here could be either my nose or the pen depending on which target. Okay, So she tries to move it to the target and she gets right on it. That didn't require any corrective saccades, that is normal. Let's suppose that maybe she overshot it and then required one corrective saccade to get back to the target. Or Maybe she undershot it and required one corrective saccade to get back to the target. That's still considered normal. And there was actually a couple instances in that clip, and you should rewatch it. You can see one corrective saccade. That is still normal. It's when there's the presence of at least two corrective saccades in any of the four directions. When there's at least two, that is considered abnormal saccadic eye movement. Okay, So that would look like... Let's say she moves her eyes, she overshoots it, then maybe she goes and overshoots it the other direction and then comes back. That would be two corrective saccades, that would be considered abnormal. And for this test, that is definitively an abnormal result. And this would be suggestive of a central vestibular deficit, assuming that it lines up with the other tests for a central vestibular deficit. And of course, there are other abnormal findings like reproduction of dizziness and any symptoms consistent with that, like nausea, headache, lightheadedness, etc. Again, these findings do not carry the same weight as that presence of at least two corrective saccades. This one is very specific. These are not quite as specific. But again, if you're doing saccadic eye movement, it reproduces dizziness or nausea, something like that. That's definitely abnormal. If you do this on someone with a healthy intact vestibular system, this should be completely asymptomatic. So if this reproduces any symptoms like that, it's probably abnormal and it's probably suggestive of a central deficit, assuming that it lines up with the other results from the central vestibular deficit tests like the smooth pursuit test or VOR cancellation, which we're gonna be looking at in the next video. Okay, just make sure to line the result of this up with that of the other tests. Okay, so hopefully this video gave you a good understanding of the saccadic eye movement test. 
Please make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button for notifications for all videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video.